I'm Jessica Lombard, Associate Superintendent, and this is Huntley 158 Today. Today we have a very special guest with us. I'd like to introduce Terry Ori. Terry is our Associate Superintendent, and he is going to be retiring here in just a few short weeks. So welcome, Terry. Thank you very much, Jess. Appreciate it. Glad to be here. So Terry, you joined District 158 in August of 1985, and I remember that because I was in eighth grade at the time. What do you remember about Huntley way back in the day? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is actually my interview. Um, I came down here from Upper Michigan, and I was looking for a job. I was getting married that summer, and I was looking for a job that, with some stability. Um, so one of the questions I asked was, you know, how long, because I noticed the school was rather small, I, how long, you know, do you see this job you know, being here, is, is this something, you know, how's the enrollment going? And uh, I was told that the enrollment was dropping very, very rapidly. And at that time, they were even thinking about uh, getting together with another school district and co-oping uh, if it got any smaller. So uh, the superintendent at that time told me that I had a good two years. So I talked to my fiance about it, and uh, we decided to go for it. And we thought we'd be here two years. and. And, and then to move on. The second thing I remember about the interview was the high school principal asking me if I'd be willing to cut my hair. Um, a little long in the back, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, mullets were popular back then. Uh, the other thing I remember is, is just how receptive uh, the people in the community were and how fantastic the kids were. It, uh, I, I was just so impressed with, with the entire community and the teachers and the kids uh, that, that I felt comfortable right away. So Terry, you talk about the changes and how small the town was. The population when you came in Huntley was smaller than or very close to the single enrollments in a number of our schools today. So in the 33 years that you've been here, Huntley has grown astronomically. The district has grown, obviously, as the, the surrounding areas have grown. Besides the rapid growth, what other changes have you seen in District 158 over these 33 years? I would say the, the top two things that I have seen in, in terms of changes, technology, and um, it's something that we've all lived through, and, and, and uh, it's, it, it's uh, continuing to evolve. Um, but I think even more importantly than that, when I first got into education, it was kind of a running joke with the veteran teachers that when we would do our in-services every year, that, okay, we're gonna learn this year's fad, and then it'll go away, and then the pendulum swings back and forth, and what we did 10 years ago will come back, and, it, it, and I noticed that it did do that. The pendulum went back and forth. Uh, the change I see now is that the pendulum has swung so far and it is never swinging back. We are at a day uh, when I was a high school or the middle school principal, we talked a lot about differentiation and that was something new to myself and to the staff. Uh, and, and now we're on the verge of personalized learning where we're looking at every single individual and how they learn and what is the best way, what are the best instructional methodologies for these kids. And it's just been truly amazing. And we're, we're at a point now that we're never gonna go back. And it's just really, really gonna be exciting to see where we go. You've mentioned middle school principal. We talked about at the beginning, you were a teacher. What have been the various jobs you've had on your journey? I have been a teacher. I have been the head varsity football coach. I have been a girls, uh, high school girls basketball coach, middle school vol girls volleyball coach. I have been a track coach uh, in one of my previous districts. I was a teacher. I went to a dean of students position, athletic director job, assistant principal, principal at the high school or at the middle school, uh, then to an assistant superintendency job and then 12 years ago to an, the associate superintendency job where I'm at now. Uh, in between there, uh, I had four children, three and three and a half years. Uh, so I started driving the bus, uh, drove the bus in the morning, pick up the kids, would teach them, coach them, and then drive them home. 
I uh, even drove my football team to, to our games. It, 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 was, it was a lot of fun. Even spent one summer as a custodian at the district, uh, you know. In every one of those roles, you've lived by your own motto in life, but more importantly, as an educator. And what is that motto? You know, Jess, early in my, educa in my uh, professional career, very early, uh, what I learned in college was the basics, the teaching, the coaching, and, and, and that sort of a thing. And I got, I got into a classroom, and I got out on the football field, and the one thing I wasn't prepared for was the social emotional aspect of, of the kids in that every child is so different and every child has so many needs and every child has comes to you with seriously a, a, adult situations in their life that they're trying to deal with and one day it just hit me that I have the God-given responsibility to love to lead and to inspire all children and I have taken that with me wherever I go. Um, and I don't only say that as an educator, but I believe all adults have the God-given responsibility to love, lead, and inspire our kids. And, and that is something that I try to, to live my life by. Definitely as a student and as a colleague, I can say that you've lived that every single day that you've been here in the district. So um, just one last question as we go to wrap up. What's the, been the most rewarding experience for you here? The relationships I've built over the years. Um, looking at you sitting across from me right now, and you were in eighth grade, and remembering what you were a fantastic student, and, and just remembering that, and then watching your career grow, and we stayed in touch with each other because some of our jobs, we connected in the summers and we were doing things together. Um, and and th that relationship, it, 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 those type of relationships, you don't just get anywhere. This has been a very, very special place. And uh, I, I have been blessed to, to be involved with such great, great students. A couple months ago, we had a board meeting where students were being recognized and you were getting ready to walk into the board meeting as some families were walking in. I recall a certain um, former student all of a sudden saw you, got so excited, Mr. Ori ran and gave you a hug. So I absolutely know that those relationships have carried across and you've impacted so many lives here. So on behalf of the district and, and all of the students you've worked with, all of the staff that you've worked with, you've truly made an impact on District 158. And we know as you go on and you retire and you go to do other things, you're going to, the district will go on, but it won't be the same. And you've last a, made a very lasting impression on us. So thank you for everything you've done for our district. And thank you for joining us at Huntley 158 today where it's all students always.